We are on our third week of our series, Faith Like No Other. And if you were here, um, at least this is, how, this is where I focus. No, no, week one, we, we talked about faith amidst impossibilities. Okay, that's not my keynote, sorry. For, uh, 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 faith amidst impossibilities. Sabihin, ang hirap gumawa ng ark, wawalo kayo, 100 years, 500 years old si, si Noah, and yet, okay, gawin, sige, kahit mukhang imposible, gawin pa rin natin. Okay, last week naman, si Jonathan, tsaka si A.B., okay, you were here, faith amidst, uh, even if you're outnumbered, kahit kulang kayo, mag-isa ka lang sa classroom, mag-isa ka lang sa, sa company nyo, isa ka lang sa family. Pa, paano ko ba babaguhin yung kultura ng pamilya namin? Ganito sila mag-isip, ganito yung buhay nila, kaya ko ba? And, 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 we, and, and we saw last week that dalawa lang sila, uh, and yet they were able to overcome and started a, uh, sparked a, a, a revolution and they were begin to war. Ngayon, mas matindi kasi from dalawa, mag-isa na lang siya. mag na lang siya and I'm talking about Elijah and I want to talk about something very relevant, very sensitive at, at, and in the same way, relevant, sensitive, and, and there's no way, there's, and, and I don't want to be bashed in a way na parang hindi mo alam sinasabi mo. Hindi mo alam sinasabi mo, hindi, uh, you do not have the expertise to say one person is this, this person is that, yes, I understand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, again, like what I always do, look at what the Bible says in this story. And I'm talking about depression. Faith amidst depression. And pinababaw ko na nga to. Ang gusto ko sanang title na nauna, Faith Even If You Want to Die. Kasi that's exactly what's happening to Elijah here. He wanted to die. He was not just depressed. He was screaming to God, Lord, ayoko na, just take my life. It's enough. This is enough. May nagagalit. Sabi ko sa inyo, uh, I'm not an expert here, so may mga pwedeng magalit, so I'm sorry. And I, I think the mistake with us Christians is that when someone say, nade-depress ako, parang depressed ako, and, and we are very quick to say, ano ka ba naman, Kristiyano ka? Hindi ka dapat depressed. But we can see from the story, someone amazing, someone big, someone great as Elijah can go through something like this. Eh, lalo pa kaya ako? So, titingnan natin yung Bible. Papano, pagkaayaw mo na. Hindi lang yung outnumbered. Hindi lang imposible. Ayaw mo na talaga. Ayaw mo nang gawin yung pinapakuha ni Lord or worse, ayaw mo nang mabuhay. I hope that the Word of God will shed light to us today. If you would ask a Jewish family right now, who is the, the greatest prophet of their time, they're gonna say Elijah. Either they're gonna say Elijah or they're gonna say Moses. And amazingly, nung nag-transfiguration si Jesus, sinong kasama niya, sinong tropa niya? Si Jesus, si Elijah, at si Moses. Sa Malachi 4.5, merong prophecy in the very end of the Old Testament, Behold, I will send Elijah the prophet before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and when he will turn their hearts of the fathers to the children, the hearts of the children to the fathers, and I will come to strike the earth with a curse. And of course, this prophecy talks, talks not about Elijah, but talks about Jesus Christ, the greater Elijah. But yung Jewish, Jewish family, ang ginagawa nila, They are leaving an empty chair every Passover because Elijah might come. Okay, so so kung ikaw, bisita ka, Pilipino ka, ah, si, meron pa bang hindi dumarating? Bakit merong, hindi, hindi, si Elijah yan, darating siya. Darating siya. And that's how important this guy is. Again, mamaya kikwento ko sa inyo yung 1 Kings 18. Hopefully, mabilis lang. Okay, amazing guy. I mean, killed 450 prophets, Cold fire from heaven, and yet immediately, 1 Kings 19, depressed. And said, I own the Lord. I resign. Simula ngayon, I'm gonna be a non-profit organization. I don't want this anymore. Okay? And nung pinabasa natin to, bakit ba sila takot? 
Bak, ano ba, ano bang gina-depress mo? Pag tinignan mo pala yung isang buong picture, 1 Kings 18, 1 Kings 19, basahin mo siya ng isang buo, maintindihan mo, ah, okay. Kaya pala. Depression happens to everyone. And again, the mistake is that we will say, ano ka ba naman? Para kang di Christian, ba't ka na depress No, 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 please don't. Oh, magbasa kasi ng Bible. Of course, true yon, Totoo yon. Right? But we cannot just invalidate this. But at the same time naman, wag namang i-romanticize. Do you get that? I think, hindi naman uso yung depression lang. ba diba? kasi yung mga matatanda ba? Sabi, naku naman, yung depression naman, sa araw naman namin, wala naman, ganun pala. Yung sa amin, wala naman depression niya. <laughs> hindi lang siguro natin alam yung tawag before. Eh, makikita natin from First Kings, thousands of years ago, meron na. Pero again, yung mga bata naman, please lang, wag naman very quick to get depression and say, hindi ka lang nakakain ng Jollibee, depressed po ako. <laughs> Tapos we, we, we celebrate it na parang cool ako kasi depressed ako. So there's a healthy tension here. Sabi ni D. Uh, D. Martin Lloyd-Jones in his book, Spiritual Depression, God's people are prone to depressive thoughts and depressive behavior perhaps even more so than others, simply because not only are they human beings, so lahat ng humans ay nade-depress, but also suffer the ire and the persecution of unbelievers. So all of that compounded makes them susceptible to spiritual depression. Many of God's servants struggle like Elijah. They lose their zest for life. Simple tasks become impossible or sound impossible to them. They lose hope. Kumbaga, lahat na nga tayo depressed, depressed, tapos ikaw as a believer, may added bonus pa. Right? Because people can just attack you because of your uh, values. Iba bash ka sa internet. Nagsasabi ka lang naman ng magandang value. Di, di kayo na. Ayun, ayun, kayo na yung mababae. Amen. We suffer persecution. So it happens to all of us. And, and don't get me wrong, no? at the end of the day, I hope na after the preaching, I hope na ang, ang resulta nito ay hindi okay pa lang maging depressed. No. There's a turnaround at the end. But we will talk about it. Look at the lens of the Word of God. 1 Kings 19. Please stand up. One hundred seventy-one, yung page. If you're there, say Amen. Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah, saying, "So may the gods do to me, and more also." if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Then he was afraid, and he arose and ran for his life and came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he asked that he might die, saying, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. And he lay down and slept under a broom tree. And behold, an angel touched him and said to him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was at his head a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water. And he ate and drank and lay down again. And the angel of the Lord came again a second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, for the journey is too great for you. And he arose and ate and drank and went in the strength of the food for 40 days and 40 nights to Horeb, the mountain of God. Lord, I know people will be ashamed. May stigma about this. If I ask people who is depressed, probably no one will raise his hand. But I pray, Lord, that your word will heal us, all of us today. I pray, Lord, that there is no 
anything that will not surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Even these negative thoughts that we have. Salamat, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Ang daming nagwawala po dito sa mga... Relax lang. 1 Kings 18. Ah, this was amazing. Kanina, you will, in his devotion, sabi ko, you will, go and read 1 Kings 18. And he read it, and one of our practice is that pagka nabasa niya, ina-narrate back niya. Ang ganda ng pagkakwento niya, sabi ko, ikaw nalang kaya magkwento. Okay? So, Elijah was a prophet of God, at ang kanyang, if there's a main purpose to his life is to stop Baal worship. Baal is one of the gods during their time and he is the god of rain and fertility. Eh, itong si Elijah, maangas yan. Okay? Sabi niya, Sige, kung talagang yung Diyos niyo eh, ang Diyos ng uh, rain, ito eh, patigilin ko yung ulan. Ganyan. Kung si Robin Padilla yung gaganap, ganun. Ha? Suko na nga ako sa inyo eh. Magisino ka man. Ganun. So, uh, Pinatigil niya yung ulan. Three and a half years pa lang ulan. So, so imagine that. The God of rain cannot make it rain. Okay? So ngayon, final showdown. The final showdown. Pumili siya ng pinaka, uh, the, the grandest, majestic, biggest stage possible. And that is Mount Carmel. Him alone versus 450 prophets of Baal. Okay? Getting that? If, Kung sa Bulacan yan nangyari, Philippine Arena yan magyayaya. Okay, somewhere great, somewhere big, somewhere that the whole world will see, once and for all, matigil na yung kalokohan na yung Baal worship. Okay? So, he made an altar and then put all of these uh, sacrifices there. Then ito na lang kasunduan. Kung sino makakapagpasunog dyan, kung sino ang maka kuha, makakapag-ask kay God na sunugin niyang sacrifice na yan, siya yung totoong Diyos. Mauna na kayo! Sabi niya gano'n. So, nauna yung prophet si Baal. Uh, ewan ko, anong mga worship nila? Badia! Hindi ko alam kung ano yung mga ginawa nilang, uh, o kaya nag-ano sila, nag, uh, nag-tinikling. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung ginawa nila. And, and nothing's happening. Eh, itong si Elijah, maangas nga ito eh. Yeah. Ano? Hindi pa kayo madinig ng Diyos nyo? Baka naman tulog. Laksan nyo pa! Nothing happened. Okay? And after a while, sabi niya, o oh, sige, ako na. Pwede na ba? Ako na ba? Pwede na ba? Ako na. Okay? And, 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 and he prayed this prayer. So, okay. Uh, by the way, we went there to Israel. We went there to Mount Carmel. Okay? Sa Mount Carmel yan mismo. Ayan si Elijah. And when we were there, we were reading 1 Kings 18-19. So, kilab- kilabotization talaga when we were there. Okay? Answer me, O Lord! Answer me! that these people may know that you, O Lord, are God, and that you have turned their hearts back. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. Bakit may tubig? Eh kasi tinasam pa niya yung stakes. Sabi niya, ah, hindi niyo mapaapoy ito. Alam ko na, may idea ko. Lalagyan ko pa ng tubig. Talagang... hindi nyo kami mapipigilan, nilagyan ka pa ng tubig. Just to show that God can just do that. Alright? Again, amazing setup, Philippine Arena, everyone watching, Yahweh versus Baal. And when the stones had licked up the water that was in the trench, and when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. And Elijah said to them, Seize the prophets of Baal. Let not one of them escape. And they seized them. And Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and slaughtered them there. Pinag-uusapan namin ni Pastor Rab, pinatay niya yung 450. Anong ginawa niya nung nagpaka-John Wick siya? Pyam, 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 pyam. Ah, I don't know if if that played in your mind like it did in my mind. For me, this is like the climax of a movie, right? And all the fire, boom! Ah, the Lord is God. The Lord. Perfect ending to the movie. Perfect ending to the movie.
Parang ito yung pangilalaro kami, mga pag-Monday, ayun, sila Jason. Alam nila to eh, sila Luis. Pag nakatira na ako ng winning shot, bawa, three points, ayan, si, si Jerome. Three points, swing, bang! Yeah, Panalo na kami, uwi na ako nun. Pasto, isa pa, hindi, uwi na ako, okay na. Baka matalo pa eh. Ang sarap kayang matulog ng one week na ganun. Napanalo kami, ako nagpanalo. Panalo na si. Kala niya tapos na. Dito tayo papasok sa 1 Kings 19. Okay? So, mahaba, sorry, pero kailangan. So, paano nga basa kayo ng Bible? Ano ba? Basahin nyo, ano ba yung nangyari? Bakit kaya ganun? Maintindihan natin, it's not always wins. It's not always highs. When the people were shouting, The Lord is God! The Lord is God! Yahweh is God! It looks like, feels like a nas- national revolution. A national transformation. Na wala nang ibang Diyos. ina niya, pag uwi ni Ahab kay Jezebel, mali tayo! Mali tayo! Ang Diyos ni Elijah, yun talaga ang Diyos. Inubos niya yung mga prophet natin. Pero hindi ganun nangyari. Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. And he had killed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel, side comment lang, talaga namang hindi ka ba matatakot kay Jezebel, kalahating babae, kalahating isda, talagang nakakatakot yan. Talagang kakabahan ka pag yan ang mga nagsabi. Jezebel sent a messenger, so nagsulat, ng sulat, probably may insignia of the king. So may the gods do to me and more also if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Tagalog, mamamatay ako. Ang ginawa mo sa mga propeta ko, gagawin ko sa'yo bukas na bukas din. Jezebel, by the way, is what the Bible calls a contentious woman. Sabi ng Proverbs, it's better to live at the corner of the housetop than to live with a contentious woman. Okay? Uh, wag kang, kung mister ka, wag kang tumatawa. <laughs> Nervous laughter. <laughs> Contentious woman. Argumentative. In this relationship, tingnan mo, si Ahab, okay na yata eh. Pero si Jezebel nang ialam. It looks like she is the, the leader of this couple. And it gives you so much danger why it, that is, why it should not be the case. Then, he was afraid. When he saw the letter, first he was afraid, then he's petrified. And he arose and ran for his life. At ito pa, naging manginginom, lasingkero. Ayan, no? Came to Beersheba. Puro beer. Kaya kung et, ito, kung ikaw ay umiinom ng beer, tigilan mo yan. Walang magandang idudulot sa iyan. Which belongs to Judah and let his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey to the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree. He asked that he might die, saying, It is enough! Take my life! Hindi yung magandang, Take my life, Lord! It is. Hindi yun. Talagang patayin mo na ako! I quit! Walang kwentang buhay na to? Pagkatapos ang lahat ng langyari? Babanggitin ko lang to kasi babalikan ko to mamaya. Ang layo ng Mount Carmel, saan sila nag-showdown, pumunta muna sa Jezreel, 26 kilometers. And uh, from Jezreel to Beersheba, 130 kilometers. And he ran. Sabi ng Bible, he ran for his life. Wala, wala, walang, walang modern equipment, walang modern car, he He traveled this. Mabalikan ko kung bakit siya significant. He ran for his life. Remember, he, 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 you were so afraid and you, you, you do that? So ano nangyari sa kanya? Number one, panic. Tanong, totoo bang mamamatay na siya? Well, 
bukas pa naman mangyayari yun. Wala pa namang bumaril. It might not happen. It might happen. But this is what does to us. Fear does to us. We panic. It's not yet there. And yet, pag sinabi, Ralph, mapuputulang ka ng Meralco sa December. Ah, ano gagawin ko? Paano ako maputulang? Paano na ako mag-internet? Paano na ako mag December pa yun, pre. March pa lang ngayon. Yan din ang naramdaman mo nung nalag out yung Facebook mo. Di ba? Nakakako! Nakakako! Ah, ilang beses ka nagtry. Yung pal- ang totoong nangyari noon, kausap ko si uh, Mark Zuckerberg, natalisod niya lang yung extension. O, may extension doon, doon nakakabit lahat, natalisod, nag-log out. O, sorry na, sabi niya, awit, sorry. Panic! Something might happen, it might happen, it might not happen, pero it's, it's letting you consume you today. Number two, isolation. Iniwan yung servant niya for no reason at all. Sino na mag-aalaga sa'yo? Eh, nagsusupport sa'yo. Yung mga taong gustong wag pakialaman, gusto mag-isa. Kaya nga mga kapatid, tip lang, no? Pag may pinagdadaanan ka, Wag kang lumayo, baligtad. Do you get that? If something is happening in your life right now, please be with us. The church is a hospital. Uulitin ko yun, ha? The church is a hospital. Hindi yung, ay, pastor, alis muna ako pag may merong inaayos na lang ako kasi babalik na lang ako. No, stay here. Because the enemy wants exactly that, you to be isolated. Because you're alone with your thoughts and Satan looking for something to devour. And he's tending his resignation. Ayoko na po. This same, this same thing happened to Moses. After everything, after every plague, siguro in his mind, as he was going to Mount Sinai, getting the Ten Commandments, Thank you, Lord. Tapos na. Salamat at naligtas ko na ang mga, eh, mga Israelita. Pagbaba niya, may iras tour. Sino yung mabahing gumakanta niyo? Si Taylor Swift. Anong ginagawa nila? Winoworship nila to. Bakit? Sandali pa lang ako nabawala. Kala ko panalo na. It's not always wins. He said this in Numbers 11, verse 14. I'm not able to bear these people alone because it's too heavy for me and you deal with me, just kill me. Thing is, I say this to Leadership 113 students all the time. Kung ang Bible ay inimbento lang at niloloko lang tayo nito para maniwala tayo, Hindi na ilalagay yung mga ganyan. Bakit? Gusto ba na, gusto, isasabihin sa atin, eh yung Moses nyo nga, suicidal. Yung si Elijah nyo, suicidal. Eh ba't ilalagay dyan yan? Eh naandyan yan kasi nangyari. And I don't know about you, baka nadidiscourage kayo, ay, ganun pala si Moses, suicidal. Ganun pala siya, mainitin ng ulo. Ay, ganun pala si David, may third party. Ay, ganun pala si, alam nyo, Kesa ma-discourage ako, na-encourage ako. Bakit? Because these people are just like me. Amen ba yun? Hindi perfect, madaming sablay, may mga pinagdadaanan, pero araw-araw lumalaban para sa righteousness ng Diyos. Nakaka-relate ako. Huwag niyo lang asarin si Moses pagdating sa langit. <laughs> Kamatay ka daw. Ako nga, hindi ako na. Hindi, ikaw na. May kwento ako sa inyo. And this is very personal. This is one of the worship online. I was about to preach noon time na yan. Wala pa kahit yung on-site na merong what do we call that? Um, ano nga tawag? sit apart, ano nga tawag niya? Social distancing, wala pa. Wala pa talaga. Alam niyo, sabi ko, sa isip ko, Lord, sure na sure ako. And, and I was saying this, you know this. 
Sure na sure ako, Lord. Pagbalik at pwede nang mag-worship ulit, sabog yung church namin, sigurado, Lord. Sasabog yung church namin. Sigurado yung mga tao, hindi makapag-intay mag-worship. <laughs> sure win na ta, Lord. Kasi in my mind, dalawa lang yung pwedeng maging response ng tao. Number one, maging sobrang grateful kay Lord na wala ng COVID. Therefore, mag-worship na yung dating tamlay na kristyano. Hindi na, on fire na ako kasi niligtas ako ni Lord eh. Or matatakot ng sobra dahil pinakita ni Lord na sa isang iglap, kaya pala niyang tanggalin lahat. At pwede pala tayong mamatay lahat sa isang iglap. So matatakot yung mga tao, mag-worship. Sabi ko, ay nako. Boy, I was so wrong. First month, first week, first six months. In fact, nung unang nag-announce na pwede na mag-worship, alam niyo unang na puno? Mall. And just like Elijah was Ang nangyari, Lord? Ang perfect nung plano natin, ha? Ang perfect nung nag-usap tayo ng Father, Son, Spirit, tsaka Rui, oh. Masama sa triyon God ng plano. No? Ano nangyari? Why are people not back? Why are the numbers not back? Why, why are people still not worshiping God? Alam niyo nangyari? Baliktad. Natuklasan ng tao yung online. Natukong sa ng tao, pwede naman palang mag-worship ng, sa internet lang kahit nakabrip lang ako. So, ito na lang. So, ako din, I was like, whenever, whenever we have a meeting, whenever we talk about this, parang, I thought it was a sure ball strategy by God. But it's not always wins. You know what changed kay Elijah when he saw that? What? The letter. Anong sabi ng Hebrews? Fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. So when you shift your focus to God, to whatever you're afraid of, you will begin to crumble. David did not see Goliath. Well, of course, he saw Goliath. Wow, ten-footer? Hindi niya sinabing dito kaya ko, iliit ko. No, no. He saw Goliath, but he saw a bigger God. Tumagos yung tingin niya kay Goliath, kay God. Versus si Peter, na nakatingin kay Jesus all this time, and anong sabi ng verse? When he looked at the waves. Diba? Gumagano na siya eh. Lumalakad na siya eh. Wow, ang galing. And, and biglang nakita niya yung waves, ang lakas. Teka lang, anong ginagawa ko? Ba't ako nandito? Anong kalokohan to? Hindi he began to sing. So when you focus your eyes on God's goodness and look at your realities, you will begin to sing. It's not always highs. It's not always go, 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 ra, ra, ra. Hindi pwedeng hula, la, la, ra, hula. Hindi pwedeng puro bad romance lagi. Hindi pwedeng pag may nagsabi sa'yo, Kuya JM, magpapahinga po ako. Hindi bro, huwag magpahinga. Hindi, inom lang po ako. Teka, inom to. Kaya inom, inom. Go, go, go. Sayang oras, pag uminom ka pa, naihihi po. Wag na! Ra, ra, ra! Sabi ko sa inyo, he ran all the way, all this And, 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 and the one day that he was probably running on purely adrenaline power when he was facing the prophets of Baal. Pag samasamahin mo lahat yun, physical exhaustion. And when you are physically tired, we are very susceptible to depression. Isipin mo, mister, mga mister, mga misis, tingin kayo sa akin, ano yung matitinding away ninyo ng mga mister? Ninyo. Di ba pagpagod kayo? Di ba pag hindi ka nakatulog?
So anong unang-unang ginawa ni pinagawa sa kanya ni Lord after niya magsabing I wanna die? Look. And he lay down and slept. Yung iba, wala po ka problema, pastor, kaya nga po ako natutulog ngayon. Huwag kang ngayon matulog. Panahon to para makinig ng word ni Lord. Wag, mamaya ka matulog, pag uwi. He slept under a broom and behold, an angel touched him and said, Arise and eat. Nagpadala ng anghel, hindi para, Come on, go, 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 ra, 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 let's go, Elijah. Come on, basahin mo itong Bible. Come on, no. Pinadala ng chef na angel. Chef, ayun no, tingnan mo. And he looked and behold, there was at his said a cake baked on hot stones. Apakabait naman ang anghel na to. Nagluto pa ng cake. Anong cake? Mango Bravo, syempre. Ano pa bang pinakamasarap na cake kung hindi Mango Bravo? And a jar of water. And he ate, drank, and lay down again. Kung pagod ka, depressed, down, discouraged, baka naman, you just need to sleep. Baka naman, you just need to pause. Volunteers, okay, mahal na mahal namin kayo. Okay. Um, pero kung dito na kayo takatera sa church, at di na kayo nababahinga, may problema tayo. Now, please, wag naman next week. Bakit ko lang kumakanta? Pastor, nagpahinga daw po sila lahat. <laughs> Nasaan na yung mga asya? Pastor, nagpahinga, sabi mo daw. Mamaya, may ano to, ah, may turn around. Pero lahat tayo, Elijah na nga to pray. E, Rui Gutierrez ka nga lang, Bench Prada ka nga lang. Magpahinga ka. Wag niyong ginagamit na bad yung, eh, ako nga, hindi pa ako makain eh. Tatlo kasi yung winantuan ko eh. Huwag mong ginagamit na badge yun. Papadalan ka na ang hell, pa, hindi para pag-bake, para batukan. Sino ba nagsabing hindi ka kumain? Sino ba nagsabing gawin mo yan? Rest! Sabi nung si, a Fuller Institute of Church Growth, and please I'm saying this not because nagpapaawa ako, I hope you don't see that, I am really asking your prayers. Please pray for us, not just me, but the staff. Sabi ng research nila, 90% of pastors work more than 46 hours a week. 90% of them feel they are inadequately trained to cope with ministry demands. 50% feel they are unable to meet the needs of the job. 75% report a significant stress-related crisis at least once in their ministry. 80% believe that their pastoral ministry has had a negative effect on their families. 33% say that being in ministry is downright hazardous to their families. The average tenure of a pastor in a church is between four and five years. They burn out for a number of reasons. Nagkwentuhan kami ni Carmen ng Monday, nag-date kami, tapos kinuwento ko lang sa kanya, lahat ng nangyari sa akin ng week. Sabi niya, laman dahil pa lang nangyari sa iyo. Nagkakwentuhan kami, parang every five years, may tama ka na, may saltik ka na ng konti. Kaya nga, ura, ra, 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 naintindihan nyo na ako ngayon. Ba't ako ganun magkwento? No? May tama na, eh, taka, ten years na ako. So, dalawang cycle na, mga pre. <laughs> At ang mabigat dun kasi, and I know Mar Lloyd and Bench will, can relate to this and the campus missionaries. So parang, am I really the man for the job? Yun yung mabigat eh. Parang, palitan na lang kaya ako kasi parang di ko naman nami-meet yung mga tao and I, want, I really want to meet you, meet all of you. I want to have coffee with you, not just this. But sometimes talagang kulang yung oras sa isang linggo. So please pray for us. Pwede ba yun? Request ko. Pray for us. Pray for our families. It's a demanding job. The angel of the Lord came again a second time, touched him and said, Arise and eat, for the journey is too great for you. And he arose and ate and drank and went in the strength of the food 40 days and 40 nights to Horeb, the mountain of God. Horeb is just another name for Sinai. 
Okay? So, nagpunta siya sa Sinai. Right? Do you see the parallelism here? 40 days and 40 nights. Ilang years nag-wander yung Israelites sa desert? 40 years as well. So, the narrator is telling us that Elijah, okay, yes, lumakas na siya, yes, pero hindi pa rin. He's not out of the woods yet. Right? He was wandering also in the desert in the same region where the Israelites wandered because they do not know what to do. Hindi niya alam gagawin niya. Hindi niya alam saan siya pupunta. He feels lost, feels discouraged, he wants to die, and all of that, and then went to Sinai. Here are some practical. Sabi ng Exodus 20 verse 8, kaya yung ginawang commandment eh, kasi hindi mo gagawin ni. Eh. Hindi mo gagawin magpahinga. Please lang yung SL nyo, gamitin ninyo. Wag lagi, eh kasi po sayang po, kinoconvert po kasi yun next year eh. May dextrose ka na, pumapasok ka pa? Pastor, hindi po kasi yung VL nyo, gamitin nyo, gamitin nyo sa pamilya nyo, gamitin nyo, magpahinga ka. Ilan yung VL natin? A year 12, I think. Gamitin mo, eh, pastor, hindi ako pwedeng umamsin. Pag umamsin ako, guguhu yung kumpanya. Wow! Ano bang trabaho mo? Food panda. Eh, ba't guguhu? Hindi ba na... Pwede po ba? Magpahinga tayo. Anong practical examples nito? Sleep. Matulog ka. Alright, wag mong gawing bad yung, eh, ako nga, hindi ako natutulog eh. We're not happy that that's, that's you. Eat. Eh ako, pastor, yan lang po yung ginagawa ko talaga. Sleep at eat. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ka nagdi-disciple, hindi, ministry, wala, sleep and eat. So okay po ako. Pagpagot, hindi ka nga pagot eh. Sleep, eat, ano pa, Exercise. Right? Kaya yung, yung Monday po namin, wala naman po talaga kaming kahilig-hilig sa basketball. Tanong, pinipilit pa nga nila ako eh, di ba? Sali po kayo, di ba, Jason? Sali po kayo. Eh, kaya ko na kita. Something happens pag nag-exercise. Parang, parang mas magaan yung katawan mo. Right? And it could be different for all of us. Maybe it's just jogging. Maybe it's just do it. Minsan si Carmen di makarelate kasi parang, ay, pagod na pagod ako. So, gumagapang na ako papasok, pagod na pagod na. Tapos nagsusuot ng sapatos, nagsusuot ng shorts, saka pumunta, magbabasketball. Diba? <laughs> Kala ko papagod ka! Sabi niya, something happens talaga. Uh, o kaya badminton yan, kala JM, dun sa kabila, kala Lynn, every Monday they do that. Okay, read, listen to music, play. Spend time with community. Mga babae, mag-ano kayo? Um, uh, window shopping together. Pwede naman yun eh. Eh, pastor, wala pa. Itry nyo lahat yung mga damit sa wardrobe. Libre naman eh. Uh, tapos pagka, kukunin nyo po ba? Mag-invento ka lang ng rare na kulay. Meron ka bang ganito in uh, legendary pink? Ganon. Yan. Yung alam mong wala sila, eh wala po, eh sayang, gusto ko pa naman eh, gano'n. So, oh, Mag-spend mag time kayo together, kaya nga yung victory group, it's also rest. That someone will listen to you and be with you, have coffee with one another, amen? Sino dito part ng victory group, taas kamay? Ay, woo, di ba, nakaka-rest eh. You're talking to one spending time in community, coffee and all. Sa Victory Group po, hindi lang puro Bible. It's sharing lives and it's rest. Okay, digital detox. Ay nako, sobrang daming basura sa internet. It's a good rest for the mind. Nature trip. Punta kayo, enjoy nyo. Marami po dito sa Bulacan, sa DRT and all. Uh, mag-bike kayo, see, see the creation of God, nakaka-rest talaga. Okay? Uh, travel. Travel with someone. Okay? Number three, palagay na dun sa page. Ayan. It's not always the Hollywood God. Okay? Or what I call earth, wind, and fire. Ayan. Maria. Ito nga yung gusto kong title dito, Earth, Wind, and Fire. 
it's not always Hollywood, God. Hollywood means spectacular, big, grandiose, incredible, explosive, diba? The, all the visual effects and all of that. Okay? Then he came to a cave and lodged in it. The commented, commentators agreed, agrees that he went to the same exact spot. Okay? Kasi the, 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 this cave can be translated into a cliff. That he went to the same exact spot where Moses said, Show me your glory! Okay, Lord. Naalala niyo yun? And then, and then God showed his back to Moses. And it was so awesome for Moses, right? He went to that exact same place. Asking God's presence, Lord, ano naman gagawin ko? Sabi sa kanya ni, anong sabi sa kanya ni, ni God? Nagawa mo dito. What are you doing here, Elijah? It's a rhetorical question. Kumbaga sa Pilipino, nagawa mo. Nagawa mo. You know what, guys? Maybe you are in a position, place in your life that you used to be this. And now because of all of these depressions, all of these discouragements, all of this financial crisis, all of these challenges, now you're here and God is asking you the same question. Nagawa mo na. Hindi ka nandito. Kasi hindi naman siya dyan pinapapunta eh. Wala na, basahin nyo. Wala na may instruction na pumunta siya dyan. Wala. Pumunta siya lang dyan, mag-isa. Kasi gusto niyang mag-drama. Okay, Lord, tingnan mo, yung sunod na sinabi. I have been very jealous for the Lord. In another translation, zealous. I have been very zealous for the Lord. For the people of Israel have forsaken your covenant. They thrown down your altars and killed your prophets. And I am the only one left. Ako lang, Lord. Ako lang yung gumagawa ng mabuti dito. Ako lang yung nagtatrabaho dito. Ako lang yung magaling. Ako lang yung masipa. Sila walang pakialam. Ako lang, ako lang. Do you hear yourself? I hear myself. I'm the only one left. Hindi totoo yan, ha? Mamaya malalaman natin, there are 7,000 left. But what fear does to you, it magnifies you. Ako na lang ang nagmamahal sa iyo, Lord. May tanong ako sa inyo. Look up here. Kung hindi nasup, nasupo ang Baal worship, kaninong mas problema to dapat? Kay Elijah o kay God? Ano iba? Oh. Ulit. Ang, ang, ang pinuputok ng butchi niya, yung mga tao, hindi pa rin kami na mahal. Yung mga tao, nag-worship pa rin kay... Kaninong mas problema yon? Kay Elijah o kay God? Eh, ba't si God yung mas secure? Eh, ba't, eh, ba't ikaw naman problema dyan? Eh, servant ka lang naman. You see where, what this is happening? Okay? And he said, go out. I love, I love this. I love this. Kasi, pagkatapos niya magdrama, biglang, go out. Hindi, hindi niya pinampam si Elijah. Oh, ganun ba? Ano ko ba? Baka naman, Elijah. Mag-ito ka na lang ba? Di na bang umaaway tayo? Walang, hindi na binaby, pre. Hindi na binaby. And there will be times, I think when you're a baby Christian, bibibayin ka na lang. Siyempre, baby ka nga eh. Pero yung ganitong mature ka na, hi, tumig- tumigil ka, go out. May papagawa ako sa'yo. Hindi niya pinatulan, ikaw na lang ba mag-ito? Hindi. Kuto mo na ba mamatay? Hindi. Hindi niya pinatulan. Go out, stand on the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord, ito, a movie na naman to. Ay, grabe. Trademark kasi to ni Elijah, eh, mga movie. Ito na yung Earth, Wind, and Fire, pre. Okay? And a great and strong wind. That pala nilagyan ko ng sound, sound yung ano ko eh. Tore the mountains. Sabi ni Lord, punta ka doon. magpaparamdam ako sa'yo, magpapakita ako sa'yo, kakausapin kita. Okay? First, there's a wind. Sobrang lakas ng wind. Nasira yung mga rock. Brrr, brrr. Dito lang yan. Di ba? Parang moving preaching. Brrr, brrr. Pero, 
the Lord was not in the wind. Ooh. And after the wind, an earthquake. Tapos nalag out yung mga Facebook. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, fire. Naging parang, ba't parang yung kalabaw? Fire nga eh. But the Lord was not in the fire. He is in Mount Sinai. Where a certain prophet experienced God when he was getting the Ten Commandments with an earthquake, a fire, and a wind. These are all representations of God. And yet, the, 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 the Bible is clear. It's not always like that. And trademark niya to eh. Trademark ni Elijah to eh. Resume niya to eh. The man of God with all amazing, great things. What's happening here is Elijah put God in a box. Thinking that if I will do this to the prophets of Baal, for sure, this is the way that God will finally give us the victory. Elijah put God and reduced him to programs. Yung mga program po sa church, pinag-uusapan namin yan, hindi yan random. Ito gawin natin ha, ito gawin natin. Doon tayo magpa-volunteer sign up pagkatapos ng pitching, tapos gagaling ako ng sobra para mag-sign up sila. Tapos pag tinanong ko, ilan nag-sign up? Dalawa po. And I was like, ano nangyari? The program was perfect. Kanina, I was talking to a girl in Marilao and we went to her, we went to her cousin's house because yung cousin niya, nag-epilepsy. We went there. I prayed for it. Sabi ko sa kanya, you know what? This is the last time that that's gonna happen to you. Sabi ko ganun. I declare in Jesus' name. And we shared the gospel to the family and all. Kanina, kausap ko yung sudyante. Sabi ko, oh, kamusta na yung pinsan mo? Dinala po sa ospital kasi meron pong nakitang brain malfunction. I was like, Anong nangyari? pinag ko naman. I was in faith naman. Just like Elijah, I put God in a box. The movie that I, we were telling you, yes, uh, that we watched yesterday, maayos naman yung parenting niya. Maayos naman. He's spending time with his, 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 his son, giving all, and then naging addict. Parang, eh, siguro sa isip niya rin, ano mang maging ginawa ko? And probably we're experiencing that pressure as well. Thinking that these are just steps, my friends. Now, one, two, three, four, five equals this. But God doesn't want us to be like that. God doesn't want us to, to, to put Him in a box that God can only work in a certain way. In fact, the, this is the reason why Elijah was so dis- depressed. It's not about God anymore. And Elijah made it about Him. It's about Him. Sabi ko sa inyo, eh dapat si God yung nagwawala. <laughs> dapat si God yung, pero siya yung, siya yung gigil na gigil na, hindi, patay na susok po yung pia. Ang totoo ang gusto niyang sabihin, hindi pala ako effective. Ayoko na, kung hindi naman pala effective. And after the fire, I'll call the keyboard this, After the fire, the sound of a low whisper. So, there was earthquake, there was wind, there was fire, but the Lord was not in those three. Representations of who God is in the Old Testament, and He's not that. After the fire, the sound of a low whisper. And when He heard it, He wrapped his face in his cloak and went out and stand at the entrance of the gate. In, in NIV, a gentle whisper. A 
I don't know what it is. But an intimate, personal whisper. Guys, bilang sa daliri ko na nasa room na to, yung pwede kong bulungan ng intimate, personal whisper. It would take that relationship, that deep relationship. Elijah was just so focused on the public. Elijah was just so focused on the, the, the spectacular and the amazing and the big and explosive. And uh, that's his resume. But God wanted it different. I don't know what that whisper is. That still small voice. I don't know, probably something like, Elijah, I love you. Go. I don't know about you. I like that better than the fire and the I don't know what you're going through right now. But what the story is teaching us. Sometimes ganun eh. And there are people here, I prayed, gumaling from cancer. Sometimes, hindi. And I doubt myself. The <laughs> question nga dun, Teka lang, we're just servants here. <laughs> Why is it becoming about me? If the, the campus ministry is not growing, why is it about me and my leadership? What? If the church is not growing, no, no, no. Let's just be used by God in whatever way He wants us, Him to use us. Amen? He's just so different. Sabi ni Elizabeth Elliot, God is God. If He is God, He is worthy of my worship. And my service. I find rest nowhere but in His will. And that will is infinitely, immeasurably, unspeakably beyond my largest notions on what He is up to. So go ahead. Just iwan to one mo lang yan. Pag-pray mo lang yung magulang mo. Invite mo lang dito. Pag hindi nangyayari at nadi-discourage ka na, don't give up. Kasi may ginagawa ang Diyos. Ang problema, meron tayong picture na paano sasagutin. Ay, na-invite ko na yung ano ko po. Makikinig lang yun ng preaching, tas okay na yun natin na yun next week. Sana nga, ganun lang kasi in place. Na. What God did next to Elijah, hindi nga siya tinanong eh. O, oh, okay ka na ba? Okay ka na ba? Hindi ka na ba depressed? No, no, no. And, This is actually my encouragement to all of you. The next thing that happened, God sent Elijah on a task. Hindi pa siya okay, ah. O, sige, uh, sige, bigyan pa kita ng six months, no? Kaya nga sabi ko, magpahinga ka, pero sandali lang, game na ulit. Kahit di ka pa okay. Kasi sa to lang, habang nandun ka sa gilid, nakmumukmuk, waiting for you to be okay, that might not come. And he knew that that exactly what Elijah needed. Oh, okay, okay na. Kung nakakain ka na, kumain ka na, nag-spend time na tayo, go na. Hindi ka pa 100%, go na. And binigay sa kanya to mga kailangan niyang gawin. So summarize ko lang, ano, mabilis. I'll call the music team. How can our faith be reinvigorated? Get up and eat. I-receive mo yung provision ni Lord. Whether that's physical, spiritual, the Lord will help you. He is the helper. Receive mo. Number two, listen to what God is asking you to do. Go out and stand. Number three, go pa din. Go on your way. Follows God's mission. I don't want to oversimplify this, no? Pero if you're If you are in depression of any kinds, wag kang magstop. Wag kang magmukmuk. Wag mo intayin na maging okay ka. 
Okay? Hindi niyo si, hindi niyo sabi, hindi sinabi ni Elijah, Lord, hindi pa nga okay ako, suicidal pa ako, tapos gagamitin mo na ako, eh kung ano magawa ko, baka madami pa yung mga tao. No. Go your way. God, God trust you that you can handle it. Go, yun pa din. Even if we were not okay, we still go. And let the Lord strengthen us. Amen. Stand up. Ang ending, kala niya mag siya, di ba? Last, last slide. Kala niya mag siya, di ba? Yet, I will leave 7,000 in Israel, all the knees that have not bowed to Baal, and every mouth that has not kissed him. Hindi ka totoong mag-isa. There are 7,000 left that not worshiping Baal. Close your eyes. Lord, just like what I've said, we're probably ashamed to admit and I hope that there will be no shame to it anymore. Pero lahat kami dito going through some sort of that. Maybe minor, maybe clinically we have been diagnosed depression, anxiety. Lord, I pray we receive provision today for your people. We don't want to be like this. If you ask them, they don't want to be like this. It's not their choice. I pray you strengthen them. I pray that still small voice na hindi makukuha sa mga wins namin, hindi makukuha sa mga miracle, hindi makukuha sa laki ng ministry, hindi makukuha sa mga uh, achievements. I, I pray for that private relationship with you. I just feel like the Lord is just gonna do that right now. So this is what we're gonna do for one minute. I'm going I'm gonna be quiet and the Lord will speak to you. Alright? Close your eyes, everyone. No one looking around. Speak to your people, people Lord. In five, four, three, two, one.
we thank you. Thank you for that still small voice, God. Lord, I pray that we would look for that more. I pray that we will be secure, Lord. I pray that it will give us peace. I pray that it will give us direction. I pray that it will give us a mission. I pray that it will give us this um, joy that cannot be found anywhere. Lord, salamat. Just like Elijah, he was not yet really okay. And then he went anyway. And we pray for us today. We know and we trust, Lord, what, what needs to happen. Lord. So, go pa din kami. Thank you, Lord. I pray, Lord, that we will find strength in you and in each other, Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you. May He be gracious to you. May He turn His face towards you. Give you peace. And I pray that still small voice you will hear every single day. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.